All right, guys, for anyone who's still in chat, because it looks like chat is 100% dead. Okay, I may as well just do it anyway. Since I have the gas for it, this is gonna be very funny. Super Saiyan 3 Broly, okay. I can also definitely say that this is now the absolute last main story character we're gonna have to do before Hot Giac gets unlocked, and then we go back for the ultimate mode stuff. Phew, it's been a bit of a ride, I would say. Just a little bit of one. You guys don't feel shy about chiming in, guys, because I'm I'm not looking at my viewer numbers at any given time. Like, if no one's saying anything in chat, I'm assuming everyone's taking off. But now it's time for the big boy. One of the secret I, I would qualify him as a secret final boss, honestly, if they still maintain that level of secrecy. Show me your ears to fight, or else I'll destroy the entire planet. Is that the legendary Super Saiyan? <laughs> yeah, and he's he's big gr in green. And there's someone's gonna make a big green joke, and I'm gonna ban for that. And oh my god, his entire combo string works. It's fucking amazing. 28k with that alone! I'm, I'm, not, I'm not giving you guys shit. I just do get concerned when no one chimes in the chat for a certain, certain period of time. Okay. Nappa then. I don't know why I just collapsed on the floor, but okay. But he still has this, so you know it's all cool. Um, now, fun fact: once I did do a week of for um, just like posting gameplay for Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and that was kind of fun because I remember the, by the fact that yeah, um, most things he does does result in natural combos. Like nothing really drops with them. <laughs> Brad, his hair's longer than yours and bigger. Don't forget about bigger too. Unfortunately, we still got the symptom of. Um, Raging Blast 1 going on where he doesn't unlock any other moves besides the base group he has. And that's a fucking shame because unironically, despite how boring I I absolutely find Zebroly, like seeing him with in this form does kind of make complete sense. Like, as well as Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Like, I'm gonna say, like, Dragon Ball Heroes goes to some weird fucking places. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and Broly do make complete sense. I don't know if I'd if this makes more sense or if seeing him in like Super Saiyan twink form in, with the long hair would make more sense. I don't know. It's really hard to say. Probably because like it's never really like described what legendary actually is. If it's like a separate branch from like the Super Saiyan upgrade path or what. I don't know. Because if it is like then you have to regress back to the linear path in order to get the three. It's I don't know. It's weird. Or if it's like its own. Mm. I shouldn't get too too into that because I'm gonna get start getting into semantics and that's where things get iffy. I guess it makes sense for more Super Saiyan three characters to be thrown at us, huh? Even Broly's become Super Saiyan three. It's not exactly a hard form to get to. Actually, it's funny because when you think about it, he never even got the Super Saiyan two really. Yes, I do. Even despite the fact, okay. With Broly, you'd probably expect Super Saiyan 2 to look pretty fucking distinct, yeah? Considering what Trunks' looks like in Super Saiyan 3, yeah, you'd think that this would... That his his hair would just be like straight point upwards. Almost like what, you know, Trunks' does. In his timeline. Oh my god, I'm so stuck at the wall. He's probably got the eye on that increases like stick time to the wall. Ooh! You can break his signature throw. That's awesome. Also, I'm getting mixed. Yeah, I don't overthink it. Sometimes you can just do things and it'll work. General advice for fighting games in general, too. Try not to overthink things too much if you're getting stuck with, like, options. Sometimes all you need is just two or three things, then you can just kind of do stuff. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Ugh, that might hit from here. Nope. Oh my god, we're not having go tanks yet. What the fuck? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, that was goofy. Uh, what about Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, or Trunks, or Gohan, or Future Gohan, or Future Gohanks, or Nappa, or Reddit? 
Uh, do you want me to actually go through each one of them? Because I totally can. Fuck it, may as well. Alright, Super Saiyan 3 Barok. No, because Super Saiyan 1 doesn't even really feel canon for him anyway, so, yeah, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, Trunks, maybe he gets Super Saiyan 3 in Super, so it's not the dumbest thing out there. Here's the thing about Super Saiyan 3, again, you, there's no emotional trigger to get to it. If you have Super Saiyan 2, you've probably got a good springboard to get the 3 already. It's literally just you dump all your energy into the form and it consumes all your reserves in like a handful of minutes. So I would say it's fine. Gohan, yeah, it makes sense too. Future Gohan, uh, we gotta get the two first. I don't know if he has this. Future Gohan's still stuck at like base Super Saiyan also. So like he's got some hurdles to overcome still. I actually killed him. Fucking awesome. Future Gohanks, I don't know. That probably doable. Nappa, no. Raditz, also no. I don't want to imagine what Super Saiyan 2 rats would look like. That would just look absolutely fucking crazy. I always read that Super Saiyan 4 Broly and it's not the shit bricks. Oh wait, hold up, what do we got? Uh I think we're good. 17 points. Um boy. How much is this? 15 points, fuck me. Okay. But you know what? I think we can make this work. Almost. Yeah, I know Super Saiyan 4 Broly exists. In fact, it's one of the centerpieces of one of the games I'm looking forward to doing. Which would happen to be. Uh, Extreme Butonin, which I need to get back on practicing at some point. It's a fun game. I just haven't gone back to it in, like, since the start of the year. Oh, fuck. I love how the, the giant stopping press actually is optimal here. That's massively unsafe. He's refreshing his timer every time I, I take him down at health bar. It's awesome. Well, that was easy. I expect this one to go by very quickly, by the way, guys. Also, I will say, Super Saiyan 4 Broly, it's fine. I, I get it. You want to push marketing? What bothers me more about Super Saiyan 4 Broly and Gohan is that they look exactly the fucking same as, you know, Vegeta, which is, you know, the crimson hair. Like, what made Super Saiyan 4 super unique is that, like, every single one of the monkeys had, like, different shades of the hair on them. It looked really cool. Uh, sure, I can do this. No problem. Also, we're up to that amount now. Yay. Uh, so, we can do Rush Armor now. Never mind. <laughs> Actually, we'll do this. Alright, so, defense. Rush armor. Uh, bump defense to make up for that loss. And we can also still improve his melee a little bit. Good stuff. So now we have armor to practically all rush moves, but the trade-off is we take more damage, but if we could just offset that by more defensive points, it's kind of funny. Oh my god, we said it. Oh, my health's also decreasing too, funny that. But yeah, like, Super Saiyan 3, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku has like a lighter red hair. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta has a darker, like, almost crimson looking hair. And fucking Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has like brown hair almost. So yeah, I've always found that that to be most like an actual like unique striking point of Super Saiyan 4. So the fact that they just kind of like nix that for several forms, I'm just like, yeah, it just removes the uniqueness of it. it kind of bites actually. I don't know what a combination of like red and green would get you in terms of colors. Probably more yellow. Fuck it, make his hair yellow. Like that actually look kind of cool. Or f fuck it, just go full hog. Give him like the green hair. Like that would make sense. Oh my god, he's so much smaller. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna be able to get to 10 with him. Again, high hit stun, high damage. Yeah, 45k with one ultimate, <laughs> holy shit.
Also, again, the idea of Super Saiyan 3 Broly is genuinely terrifying as well, considering, like, the big drawback of Super Saiyan 3 is that it just burns too much uh, energy from someone in order to use practically. Also drains the budget of the animators, but you know, that's a different problem. So, like, what do you do when you have your character who has infinitely regenerating key? Yeah, that kind of bypasses the issue right there, actually. Does it mean anything? No. I think it's a terrifying thought. God, this character's damage is absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah, I know about Dragon Ball Evolution, and I'll someday watch the movie and do Let's Play of the game. I'll be very funny because you are in Lowenthal voices Goku, and that's something I never thought I'd get to see in my life. Also, is it like Travis Willingham as uh, Yamcha or something? Oh wait, where the fuck is that move anyway? Oh, it's left. That's odd. I've been thinking about firing up Shin Budokai again for um, the Twitch channel just to fuck around and do all those arcade modes because I've never done them before. There's never a point for me when I was younger, really. Hey, let's go. Oh, dude. <laughs> they just miss a point blank, though. He's not quite the zoning god that he is in Dragon Ball Fires, unfortunately. I mean, we already established this before, but. It does bear repeating. This might hurt a little bit, though. Oh, God, did it. Just right down to the wire. Hello, uh, Rachel Stereotype. How are you doing? Ooh, that was nice. Jesus Christ, that just, this character is so insane. Oh yeah, also the distance these flies for, between each round, you can also just use that time to regenerate your, your key bar. It's pretty nice. Oh, okay, finally died. <laughs> Took a while. Oh yeah, by the way, Super Saiyan, uh, his second player outfit is in fact, um... Yeah, I'm sure in Dragon Ball Evolution is June Park. Who? His, uh, his uh, second costume is in fact the Charbroiled Broly. It looks very funny. Okay, oh, not doing that one yet. Again, I'm saving ultimate difficulty ones for later. Okay. Who's this involved? Yeah, that makes sense. This will be funny. Um, I was gone for a bit. Why are we mentioning the movie that shall not be named? Which one? Show me you're here to fight, or else I'll destroy the oh, evolution. Darkness mentioned it above in chat. That's why. All right. Anyway, it's time to bully a bunch of old villains. Nope, okay. Uh, Circle's probably just gonna keep canceling into that. Oops. There you are. Um, just fuck. Uh, I was trying to go for a Mega Blaster, not enough key, so I panicked and just did a uh, giant hammer. Screw it. And again, the time it takes for it to hit the ground after that, you can just keep charging. It's actually hilarious. Yeah, uh, the, the game is uh, actually a Shin Budokai game. Is it important? Not really. It's just very funny that Dragon Ball Evolution does actually have a game that's based off of gr actually good engine. Sweet lord. I might be able to just kill someone outright if I just do my ultimate raw. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh wow, she hit me, yay. <laughs> oh my god, this might actually kill outright, guys. No, but sure as shit hurt. What's with that momentum? I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's like when you jump and then you um do shit at just the right timing. Okay, hold up. Uh, double razor cam might actually work here. I do find it funny how he has a super attack that's just actually from him one of his older forms, and not even from. Anything involving his uh, legendary Super Saiyan form. It was actually an extremely r random callback. It's from his initial debut of Super Saiyan in a flashback when it was blowing up one of the galaxies, I think. Anyway, hi, Hotjack. How are you doing today? Might ha have a good time against this. All those Saiyans, LMAO. What? Oh, that's bullshit. He's got good defense. Fuck me. Disney Plus got Dragon Ball Evolution. What? Well, either way, it's not kind of how I'm going to watch it anyway. No, the way I'm going to watch Dragon Ball Evolution is on Discord with you guys. Also, reminds me I haven't updated my uh, Discord link yet. I got to do that at some point. Okay, yeah, he's actually got some stats on him. Fuck. Should I jump higher? Whoa. That was some weird maneuvering. Can we get this? I'm feeling yes. It shouldn't be too hard. Can we get it? Yes, we can. Okay. Broly heard Kakarot say Hot Shock was stronger than him and he decided he couldn't stand. I can believe it. No topple there anymore. Although I will say that was very close down. Like his Hot Shock's defense compared to the other three were actually was actually kind of sky high, so I had to be careful there. And one more to go. Picture? It's so bad. Although, <laughs> it's funny. This era of this guy's art, I should mention, once again, it does make everyone look super fucking, like, scrawny. So even though he's kind of beefy here, this is like what Super Saiyan Goku should look like. Like, he's still incredibly, incredibly small. Very hard. We'll see about that. All right, I'm um, going to jack up his defense higher because we kind of need to. Yeah. All right. Just look at the amount of man on this screen and electricity and hair. Come on, this is where you die. I'm going to make you pay. This is a fight I would fucking pay to see, though. Holy shit. Can you imagine trying to deal with uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly and Dragon Ball and DBAFC? How much real estate on the screen he would occupy on top of how big he regular form already is? Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Sorry guys, kind of fell asleep through that. Did I win? Oh yeah, seems like I did. Replace Kakarot with Vic and you got a more accurate statement. I saw a video of Vic like doing autograph signings in a fucking parking lot in Wisconsin. He got chewed off by the property owners. Just the most random bullshit you can think of for this guy. Jesus Christ. That's gonna be a handful.
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about Goji in this equation as well. Yeah, it adds up. <clears throat> All right. There it is. Yeah, that's gonna come later naturally because... Wait, hold up, what was the last one? Oh yeah, that's the ultimate difficulty one, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I would like to point out, for all those in the audience, all... Maybe two people left? Possibly. <laughs> Anyone who I've not chased off already with this, this amount of uh, dumb bullshit we've been doing. Yeah, it's over. Well, at least part one's over. <laughs> I'm gonna scare someone by saying that. No, okay, so here's what's happening. So, we've gone through every single character in the main game. It's taken a couple months. Boy, has it. But we've finally done it. But we're not clear yet. So, naturally, I said uh, earlier that I'm gonna be on break next week. Uh, I'm gonna be not really here. But uh, when we come back, the Let's Watch of the Hotshot movie is gonna happen. I Maybe mean, I'll do it afterwards, who knows? And after that, we're going to use Hotshock, uh, complete his story mode, galaxy mode, and then we're going to begin the grand adventure of going back through every single one of these in order to complete all the missions we have not completed, which is a combination of ultimate modes and the team battles that have been unlocked that we have not done yet. Don't worry, every time you complete one, it completes it for like four or five other characters, so it's not too big a deal. Don't worry, it's not, it's not bad. It actually should be incredibly short, like maybe four hours? I know it's not short, but it's shorter than what we've been dealing with. Okay. I knew trying to complete 10 characters in one stream was going to be a bit of a tall order. Probably only like nine, actually, but fuck me running, we did it. And I'm kind of happy about that. I haven't mentioned before how long Raging Boss 2 has like haunted me in terms of like if I'm going to do this or not. Only because of streaming. Has it actually been tolerable, like, at all, so. Wish you guys good night. Um, maybe I'll do something tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. Not a lot of days left until I'm gonna be gone for a straight week during my stream days, but, uh, yeah, good night.